So next, we have the common ways of expressing concentration. So we have the first one, which is the percent by weight. So that is percent WA over equal to WA over WT times 100. For, so if it is a for chemical reaction or equation, which is this is the one that is commonly used, the percent product equal to the molecular weight of the product over the molecular weight of the source. Then multiply by 100, by 100 to make it in percentage. For the mole fraction, that is XA, which is the mole fraction equal to Na over Nt, where Nt is just equal to Na plus N. So you can replace it and you'll get the formula XA or the mole fraction equal to NA over NA plus NB. So we have here a note which is for gases, mole fraction is also called pressure fraction. And then for the atomic weight mass of common elements we have here, so you must know this or memorize or remember all of this. So we have the hydrogen is 1, calcium 40, NA is 23, oxygen 16, nitrogen is 14, carbon is 12, silicon is 28. S or sulfur is 32 NK or potassium is equal to 39. So you should be uh, not, uh, sometimes uh, this atomic weight or mass are given in the problem. But uh, if it's not given, you should know the atomic weight of these common elements that are often used. For number three, we have the molarity, which is uh, the unit of this molar. So this represents the number of moles of solute per one liter of solution. For the solute, that is a substance being dissolved. And uh, for example, the solution that is contains salt and water. Therefore, the salt will be your solute and the water will be your solvent. As you can see, and remember that water is always and will be the universal solvent. Okay? When you ask, uh, you're being asked what is a universal, universal solvent, that is usually water. So for the formula, that is the N solute all over the liter of the solution. Where N solute, of course, that is just equal to the M mass over molecular weight. Okay? Though, and also remember that 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliter or 1,000 cubic centimeter. For the fourth one, which is the molality or small m, the unit of this one is molal. Now, this represents the number of moles of solute per 1,000 gram of solvent. And then the difference is... The mass is just equal, or no, the molality is just equal to the N, still N over N solute, but you have to divide it into kilogram or the mass of solvent in kilogram. Next one, we have the pH or the power of hydrogen ion. Now, this identifies the acidity and alkalinity of solution. Okay? And then, pH usually tells you if the uh, element or the product is an acid or base. Okay, so we have the formula pH is equal to the negative logarithm of H or the hydrogen plus, and you can also have here equal to the negative logarithm of H3O plus, where H plus is just the molar concentration of hydrogen ion. Okay, and then note if the uh, here the values is zero to uh, less than seven that is acid, and then uh, greater than seven to fourteen that is base or alkaline. And then if the pH value is exactly equal to 7, that is a neutral. We have here number 6, which is ppm or parts per million, which is a number of parts of solute per millions part of solution. And then we have the formula here or the note, mg percent or milligram percent, uh, milligram percentage is just equal to the ppm or parts per million and then divided by 10. That's it. For the last one, the normality is the unit of this one is normal or capital N, number of grams equivalent weight, so GEW of solute per liter of solution. So for the formula of this one, N or the normality is just equal to um, equivalent weight, solute, and all over the, the liters of the solution. Solution in liters, volume of the solution in liters. And then F now is the number of replaceable hydrogen ion, and then F or it is the number of hydroxyl ion for base. Hence, therefore, you can uh, say here that N is equal to N solute times the F, or the number of replaceable hydrogen all over the solution in volume of the solution in liters, or equal to M times capital M times F. So we'll be able to um, appreciate this more on the uh, examples. So let's move on to the examples. So we got here the number 
1. So we have what is the percentage of uh, calcium oxide, which is CaO, in calcium carbonate, CaCO3. So at atomic weights are Ca equal to 40, oxygen is equal to 16, and then carbon is equal to 12. So we have here the given. So we have a given of calcium carbonate, right? Carbonate, which is um ca uh, co3 and then we have calcium oxide calcium oxide which is ca o okay so and then therefore we are required now to find the percentage right or you can also call it the percentage weight okay. that is a percentage now one that you're looking here is a percentage weight so you already have we already have the formula for that as i um, discussed it earlier so we are looking for the percentage weight of um calcium oxide in calcium carbonate okay so um the chemical reaction for this one is we can use the balancing okay reaction chemical reaction as you can see what happens here is the CaO, CaCO3, which is the calcium carbonate, is will turn into this is through the use of heat, okay? Through the use of heat, this will become somehow CaO or calcium oxide. But we have to balance this with what? Since we are still lacking what? We are lacking. We still need a carbon here, so we have a carbon on the right, left side. Therefore, there must be a carbon on the right side, and then um two oxygen since we have three oxygen on the left side and we uh, only have one oxygen on the right side so co2 so this is how you balance this an equation or an chemical or a uh, chemical reaction okay so let's just extend this so what happens here is so for the solution for this one is uh, based on the chemical reaction, you can have here the percent weight of the uh, calcium oxide. Is you can use the percent weight percentage, which is formula. So the molecular weight of the calcium oxide to the all over to the molecular weight of the whole product, which is the calcium carbonate. So molecular weight of calcium carbonate. So CaCO3. Okay. So all you have to do is just times this to 100 to make it in. Percentage. So to get the molecular weight of uh, calcium oxide first, okay, so this will become, so molecular weight of that is equal to 1 times 40, right? Calcium is 40 plus uh, 1 times oxygen is 16. Therefore, you'll just have here 56 gram per mole. And then for the Per mole. And then for the next one, we have a molecular weight of the calcium carbonate, so CaCO3. So this is equal to calcium again is 40 plus C. This is 12. 12. Okay. So this is 1 times 12 plus oxygen. So we have 3 oxygen, so this is equal to a times. 16. And then this is all equal to 100 gram per mole. Per mole. And then um, substituting it on the formula, percent weight of CaO is equal to uh, 56 over 100 times 100. Therefore, you'll just get here 56%. That's it. So that will be your answer. Let's move on to the next number. Okay, so for the next number, we have the hydrogen peroxide H2O2. Solution for hair bleaching and it's also used for cleaning wounds is prepared by mixing 5 grams of H2O2 per 100 milliliter solution so what is the molarity of a of a solution or of the solution okay so we have here the given okay? so we have hydrogen peroxide so the chemical formula is H2O2 and the mass is equal to okay, 5 grams. 
So this is usually used for hair bleaching or cleaning wounds. And then we are now asked to find molarity. So we are asked to find the M, capital M. And then for the solution, you can see molarity is just equal to the N of solute. Okay, N of solute. So in this case, that is the hydrogen peroxide. And then liters of the solution. liters of the solution so for that uh, remember that the n of solute this is just equal to mass over molecular weight molecular weight of the solute of course so for in this case the solute is the hydrogen peroxide therefore we can easily get the uh, molecular weight that is h2o2 so that we have two hydrogen which are one and then plus uh, 2 of oxygen, which is 2 times 16. Okay, so this is equal to 34. Okay, therefore, the N of solute, that is M over W, the mass is 5 grams, right? Yeah, 5 grams all over 34. And this will be your N of solute. And then for the, uh, we have a given of 100. So we have L of solution here. So the L of solution is equal to 100 ml. So if you make this in liters, that will be 100 times 10 raised to negative 3 because it should be in liters. Therefore, to find that M is equal to or the molarity N of solute, right? That is a 5 over 34 all over L of solution. So it should be liters. So 100 times 10 raised to negative. And if you find the answer for this one or use your calculator, you'll have here a 1.47 or approximately equal to 1.5. The unit is molar. And that will be your answer, approximately 1.5. Okay, so we have here, what is the molality of a solution which contains uh, 20 grams of cane sugar? A C12H22O11 dissolved in 125 grams of water. So as you can see, we have here the given, which is, this is actually just sugar and a water solution. Okay? Water solution or combination. So in this case, your sugar now will be your solute. Okay? And then, of course, your water will always be the solvent. Now, for the sugar cane, okay, cane sugar, the chemical formula is C12H22O11, right? And then, we can get the uh, molecular weight of that. That is just 12. The molecular weight of uh, carbon is also 12. 12 plus uh, 22 hydrogen is just 1 plus uh, 11 times 16 for the oxygen. Therefore, this is equal to 342 gram per mole. Okay. And then for the water, as you can see in the formula, or in the given, that is 125 grams, right? Is it? 125 grams of water. However, in the formula, this should be um, kilograms. Ah, uh, kilograms, right? Yeah, so this should be 125 times 10 raised to negative 3. All you have to do is just divide this into divide this into uh, 1,000. So it will be in kilogram. And then that is for the water. And then we also have um, 20 grams for the sugar cane. Okay, cane sugar. So for the required, we are required to find molality. So, molality, okay, so, so we'll just use the symbol of this one. So, it should be in molal. Okay, molal. So, for the required of this one, uh, the solution is, the formula for this one is the molality is just equal to the N of solute. Okay, and absolute, and then kg or the mass of the solvent. Okay, so to get the n of the solute, 
in this case that is the cane sugar this is just um equal to the mass over the molecular weight okay. the mass of the uh, cane sugar is 20 okay, right and then the molecular weight is 342 okay, okay 342 uh, this is actually in mole number of moles and then for the kg of the solvent kg of solvent is already given i think that is 125 right times 10 raised to k so kg of the solvent is equal to a uh, 125 times 10 raised to negative 3 kilogram and then therefore you can find the molality so n of solute that is just 20 over 342 all over 125 times 10 raised to negative 3 kilo and then if you will use your calculator, the one that you will get here is equal to 0 0.4678 molal. And this is your So for number 4, a household cleaning solution of hydronium ion concentration of 10 raised to negative 11 m, what is the pH of the solution? So this is just a direct direct substitution because the given here the 10 raised to 11 raised to negative is 11 is actually the this one okay as i mentioned earlier on the ph formula so this is 10 raised to negative 11 therefore we are required to find the ph level and for the solution that is just ph is just equal to the negative logarithm of whatever the value of h3o plus and then this is negative logarithm of 10 raised to negative 11. And therefore, you'll just guess here that the pH level is equal to 11. Therefore, you can say that this is a base. Okay. And this will be your final answer. For the next one, we have the find or the maximum concentration of the fluorine ion in drinking water is 2 ppm. 2 ppm is actually 2 parts per million. So find the concentration in mg percent. So this is actually easy. So for the fluorine, we have here fluorine, right? Ion. And it's 2 ppm. And 2 parts per million. For the required here is the mg percent. Mg percent. Okay, so for the solution. Um, mg percent is just equal to the parts per million all over 10. Therefore, this is equal to 2 over 10. That's it. Therefore, you can also say that mg percent is just equal to 0 0.6. That's it and that will be your answer. So with that, let's move on to the next topic.